Over 30 countries worldwide have or are acquiring ballistic missile technology that could eventually be used to carry not only conventional warheads, but also weapons of mass destruction. The proliferation of these capabilities does not necessarily mean there is an immediate intent to attack NATO, but it does mean that the alliance has a responsibility to take this into account as part of its mission to protect its European populations, territory and forces. I see missile defense very much as a, an insurance policy, an additional insurance policy. So when you, when you make an insurance, you make an insurance for fire, for theft, for water leakages, for whatever. Missile defense is just an extra tool in addition to the other tools that we have to defend ourselves if needed. NATO ballistic missile defense is not directed against any specific country. It's directed against threats from outside the Euro-Atlantic area. In order to answer this threat, in November 2010, NATO leaders decided to develop a ballistic missile defense capability that includes land, sea, and air components that can link together to form a protective shield against ballistic missile attacks. You have uh, satellites, you have radars, you have a command and control system and you have interceptors. S satellites pick up signals if a ballistic missile is launched from somewhere. The radars afterwards pick up the trace of a, a ballistic missile and then afterwards through command and control uh, you pass on this information to the interceptors that are eventually able to intercept these missiles. These missiles can travel extremely quickly and strike a target anywhere in their range. In the Mediterranean Sea, U.S. ships with a ballistic missile defense capability are on duty 24 hours a day to intercept potential threats that might appear on their radar. We have seen here recently, and we expect to continue in the future, the uh, proliferation of uh, ballistic missiles technologies across the world. Um, and as those technologies get cheaper and proliferate, potentially into the hands of uh, non-state actors. It's critically important to defend our infrastructure as well as the infrastructure of our friends and allies. And so with uh, the four ships here that will be stationed in Rota, uh, the Aegis weapon system that we have is a proven capability to shoot down short and medium range uh, ballistic missiles. And so we're providing this forward to our four deployed forces as well as uh, NATO and uh, our European friends. Ships like the USS Donald Cook have advanced sensor capabilities and interceptors that can detect and shoot down ballistic missiles. Combined with the other components placed in alliance countries and coordinated at a central military base, the system already can connect with satellites to defend against missile attacks. However, in a world of ever-evolving threats, the alliance needs to be equally vigilant in updating these capabilities. What we have right now is an interim capability that was declared in Chicago, which uh, provide, provides an operationally significant, significant first step. We have command and control arrangements in place, but much more is required in future as our level of ambition is higher than to just have an interim capability. From the outset, cooperating with nations on missile defense has been crucial in order to overcome new threats and old suspicions at the same time. In 2003, under the auspices of the NATO-Russia Council, a study was launched to assess possible levels of interoperability among the theater missile defense systems of NATO allies and Russia. But in April 2014, NATO suspended all cooperation with Russia in response to the Ukraine crisis. NATO has been clear from the beginning that uh, the system that we are building is not intended to defend against Russia. Missile Defense Cooperation, I think, is behind us. or well, the attempt to develop missile defense cooperation with Russia is behind us, which doesn't mean that the NATO project will stop. On the contrary, the NATO project continues as planned and as envisaged. NATO's primary role is to defend its member countries. Transatlantic teamwork on ballistic missile defense is bringing this capability one step closer.